Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to For Better. For Better. Yay. Not for worse, for better. <laughs> We're Lauren and Joy Hershey. We're coming yes. to you from Dubuque, Iowa. Yes. And so glad to be with you. And yeah. uh, this is, this of course is For Better. We're going to talk about marriage and family for a few minutes. And yeah. Excuse me. Hey, thanks for tuning in. And yeah. hopefully some people will start to tune in here in a little bit. This is actually National Chocolate Covered Nut Day. Yay. So, that sounds good. <laughs> I wish I'd have had some chocolate covered nuts today. Actually, I think I might have had some today. <laughs> uh huh. This is uh, True Confessions with Lauren and Joy. <laughs> oh, well. Tomorrow is National Pistachio Day. Okay. Those are supposed to be good for you. Yeah, it's also today's Fat Tuesday, the end of the flesh out. And, yeah. And, uh, and then tomorrow is the, the Christian religious traditional holiday, Ash Wednesday. <clears throat> yeah. Kind of the start of, of that period. Start of for Lent the, mm -hmm. for people who celebrate Lent. So, celebrate hey, Christmas. Mary and Amanda. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Hey, we want to jump right into some things tonight. Yeah. Uh, Let's pray as we get started. Sure. Father, we come together tonight in the name of Jesus. You're so good to us. And, thank you, Lord. And we thank you for your great heart for marriages and uh, love for us. Mm -hmm. Help us communicate clearly tonight for all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You know, we've been talking about marriages, of course, and uh, other people are, are joining us. So hey, thank Jean. you. For, <laughs> thanks for jumping in with us. Uh, in here's the uh, one point as we get started Hi, is that God made the family before he made the church right and so in God's priorities for us would be God is first of course love the Lord your God with all your heart soul mind and strength that's the most important thing right. and then of course he said Jesus follows that up with love your neighbors yourself and of course if you're married your closest neighbor is your is your wife yes. or your husband yes. and so uh, God then family, and then work. Mm -hmm. uh, even if you work in the church, like we do. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, the church then is there to support the family, not the other way around. Too mm -hmm. many times over the years, we've seen families sacrifice to, to build the church or that right. sort of thing. And Well, there's a right and wrong yeah, way, I guess. You can go overboard in anything if your life is not <clears throat> balanced. That's right. Anything can... Uh, cause a problem then yeah. not balanced because the church is made up of families and right. individuals and so yeah it's a working together right there mm -hmm. and uh we want to talk a little bit randy and sheila and tiffany and nicole wow hi you guys got the whole clan joining us tonight great uh we want to talk about the husband's role from this standpoint is that it's the husband's responsibility to take the lead in bringing the things of god into the family yeah he's the the head of the family he's responsible to bring the, the the things of god in it's the husband's role according to ephesians chapter 5 verse 29 drawing from the fact that he's to love his wife as christ loves the church yeah. and that he's to love his wife as his own body uh, we read in ephesians chapter 5 verse 29 for no one ever hated his own flesh but nourishes it and cherishes it just as the Lord does yeah. the church. So that's the husband's two-part job description as a husband is to nourish and cherish his wife. Mm -hmm. To nourish would be to support her growth and mm -hmm. to maturity, helping her become everything that she can become. Mm -hmm. And to cherish means to value her, to really have affection for her mm -hmm. and be tender-hearted toward her and do, do those things that will build her up and bless her life. Mm -hmm. And those things come together in one main thing that we want to mention to you tonight is that husbands should take the lead in praying for and with his wife. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's really important. Uh, sometimes new believers are, are a little bit shy, maybe, to pray yeah. out loud or pray with one another. But I want to encourage each of yeah. you husbands start with something you can yeah. start praying over the meals you be the one you know i know sometimes we like to delegate that responsibility to the kids and teach them which i get that but then but show your leadership in that and um if you're shy to pray start praying over meals start praying over your little trips when you get in the car 
Lord, yes. you know, Lord, thank you for safety today as we go on this trip or as we travel to church or we travel wherever we're going. Lord, thank we, you know, just pray. Lord, watch over us as we travel. That's an easy prayer anybody can pray, but it's a good way to start if you're not a person who's been comfortable with praying out loud. But yeah. certainly if you are one who's used to praying out loud and you're you're bold in your faith and you're full of the word of God and you know how to pray, then take take the time to pray in those opportunities that you have. And one thing that we wanted to talk about too was not just praying uh, with your wife or with your family in situations like that, but how about praying for your wife? Yes. Yeah, uh, of course, this goes both ways, but tonight uh -huh. we're talking about the husband's role and his leadership. And I, I just want to say that I think it would be a beautiful way to show that you uh, are interested in nourishing and cherishing your wife if you would pray for her. So not pray that she would change and be everything you want her to be. <laughs> 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 Not that kind of like selfish type prayer, like make my wife more submissive, make my wife a better cook, make, you know, whatever, whatever. Not that kind, <laughs> not that kind of prayer, but praying for things that yeah. really are, would support your wife so that you can join in in faith and get God's power working on her behalf to help her life be better so maybe there's did you want to chime in i feel yeah, like i'm well, doing all the talking no, all there's <laughs> there's just something very very rich and meaningful for her heart if you'll pray for her right that it, really it's shows just, a cherishing and that's coming from from the girl here <laughs> yeah it, that it does it just really ministers to her heart and guys uh as a guy let me just say i know that for some reason we're intimidated a lot of times by our wives, and we're intimidated. <laughs> we're intimidated by the thought of praying in public, anyway, and around other people. But for some reason, I've seen it over the years. I just know that for some reason we're kind of timid and intimidated about about praying uh, mm -hmm. in front of our wives. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> Come on, guy, man up. But, yeah, you can. You don't, you don't have to be intimidated. And, no. and when you pray, don't put on airs. Right. You know, she knows you for one thing. And the sincerity of your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not have to be flowery. You're not a professional prayer. <laughs> uh, you know, it's none of that. Right. She wants to, your genuine, unpretentious prayer, the real deal, mm -hmm. where your heart shows and and you're asking God to bless her and your family. You're taking mm -hmm. charge in your home. You're taking the lead and mm -hmm. and and being the champion in your home. Man, it's and your care for her. All those things mm -hmm. are going to minister to her heart. Right. And and yeah. So sometimes it's uh, the the simple things maybe or things that you weren't thinking about uh, that your wife might need prayer for. Maybe she has something going on at her job if she mm. works. There may be idea. something going on in her job that you think, oh, she can handle it. She's strong. You know, she knows what she's doing. Well, you know what? <laughs> maybe she'd like for you to be praying for her about that. Or maybe there's something going on with the kids. Yeah. You know, yes. maybe she has a fear yeah. mm -hmm. because some moms have a fear that maybe if they're pregnant, they have a fear, you know, that something might go wrong with the birth or whatever. Or with our little kids, sometimes we have a fear that we're not being a good enough mom and or something like that. And so it would show your cherishing and nurturing of her uh, in a real practical way if you would pray for her in those yeah. areas. And you might have to ask her what those areas yes. are. Like, yeah. honey, what's something I can be praying with you about? Let's mm -hmm. get God moving on your behalf. And what's, you know, what's on your heart? And what are you struggling with? Or what are you believing for that I can join my faith and we can believe together? And you can know I'm standing with you. So those are just some ways that you could really show that your wife is in your heart, yes. that you cherish her, that you care about her life, you care about how things are going with yes. her, you want things to go well for her, and that would be a great way to do it, would be to ask her, how can I be praying for you? Because mm -hmm. that's personal, yes. right? It's not just um, out there somewhere and, you know, well, God bless this or God bless that, but really a personal caring 
enough to take her cares to God. We really want to be, we want to be seen as, as people. We right. want to be seen, we want to be known, mm -hmm. we want to be nurtured, and we want to be loved. Yeah. And that would really be the way to nurture your wife, to love her, and show your Show her how much you care for her because you do. Right. And so don't be worried, guys. Come on, press past that fear and yeah. realize this is the way that you can open up and and man, you're you are the man. You are a man. You're a manly man. <laughs> take so, your place yeah, and be a leader place. in that way and she'll respect you for that and yeah. love you for that and really appreciate your offer to pray for something that's really on her heart. It's, it will really touch her. First John chapter 5 says, If we ask anything according to God's will, we know He hears us. Mm -hmm. And if we know He hears us, then we know we have the petition that we desired of Him. Mm -hmm. Third John 2, we, we recognize that it's God's will that we prosper and be in health, yeah. even as our souls prosper. So God wants our soul to prosper, our emotions, our will, our minds. He wants our bodies to prosper. He wants Amen. us to have a good journey in every way. Yeah. The Lord is our shepherd, Psalm 23, 1 says. I shall have no lack. And so you can pray for her to have no want. It's God's mm. will for her to have every need supplied. Psalm 37, 4, delight yourself in the Lord. He'll give you the desires of your heart. So God wants her very innermost longings satisfied. Mm. And so you can pray for her along that line. And Proverbs 3 says in verse 9 that we trust in verse 5 and 6 trust in the Lord with all your heart lean not to your own understanding but acknowledge him in all your ways and he'll direct your path mm -hmm. so guys pray uh, acknowledging the Lord and his direction and his will mm -hmm. but specifically ask her ask her yeah. you know you develop an intimacy mm -hmm. with people we with it's been said that we develop an intimacy with the person we pray to and the persons we pray for, and the persons we pray with. Yeah. And so by praying for her, with her, uh, man, you're gonna find a closeness developing between the two of you that you it's not achievable any other way. Yeah. You'll open the door to a closeness, that'll be wonderful. Yeah. So here's our tip for you tonight, is, is guys, take the time and, and ask her, as we're done here, because we're gonna wrap up quick tonight, so uh, ask her, what can I pray for for you? Yeah. Just like Joy was, was saying, you know, find out what's going on in our life mm -hmm. and uh, open up your hearts to each other. And, mm -hmm. and gals, uh, if you want to, to also follow that tip and ask Absolutely. him or pray with him, that's, that's great too. Draw close together. Yeah. And you single uh, people, you unmarried people, and by the way, uh, just a quick statistic, it's not half the marriages end in divorce. That's a bloated statistic that's not founded in fact. And so we'll get into that another time maybe. But you single <laughs> folks, don't feel all left out. Don't feel left out. Don't feel like if you're not married, there's something wrong with you, because there's not. But if you're not married, uh, find out about those friends around about you. Ask them, Yeah. what can I pray for you? Can I pray for you for something? And then, boy, they maybe they've never been asked that before. And it'll take a moment for them to really believe you. <laughs> uh -huh. And then to, to really process and share with you. Yeah. And so... Hey, I yeah. wanted to thank you guys for tuning in and caring about your marriage enough yes. to invest some time in it. Um, I re we're coming on every Tuesday night at 8.30 uh, to talk about marriage and to just inspire you a little bit. We all can use encouragement in our marriage. So I just want to give you a big thumbs up, you guys, for tuning in and for caring enough about your marriage yeah. to, to invest some minutes. It's not a lot anyway, uh, but thank you for investing in your marriage. Yes. The world's a better place when we invest in our marriage and we keep our marriages strong. So thank you for the uh, this time that you spent uh, for the furtherance of your marriage to be yeah. a better spouse and to be inspired in those, in that role that you have. So we're just really proud of you for doing that. So uh, keep tuning in and hey, you can also share this post um, on from your yes, with, please do from your Facebook or to your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and share it and make sure that uh, 
you recommend it to some people that you know so that <laughs> thanks for all the hearts yes. so that others can be blessed <laughs> and other marriages can be strengthened yeah. we all can use encouragement we all can use some inspiration now and then so we're bringing that to you every week and we're happy to do so so yeah. we love you guys we love you have a great night